Uh, I'm Mar my name is Martha Robertson. I'm Tompkins County Legislator from the town of Dryden. And I want to introduce the planning committee that has put all this and tomorrow's program together. And I hope folks will just stand up where you are and uh, I hope you'll thank, you'll thank them all for a lot of hard work uh, at the end of the list. Martha Armstrong, Karen Bear, Nels Bone. Stand up, come on, you guys, I know you're here. Uh, whoever's here, I should call your name. Um, Laura Branca, J.R. Claiborne, Joanne Cornish, Sue Cosentini, Janet Catraccia, Kirby Edmonds, Gary Ferguson, Bill Goodman, Rod Howe, Norma Jane, Marsha Lynch, Ed Marks, Paul Mazzarella, Megan McDonald, Kathy Schlaughter, Rob Studeville, Jennifer Tavares, Jeremy Thompson, and Irene Weiser. And this has been a huge team effort. And thanks to everybody. And a special, a special thanks to Teresa Naylor and Bruce Stoff, who have been working their hearts out to handle a thousand details I never even would have thought of. So thanks to Bruce and Teresa. All right, just a quick couple of questions. I hope that you, when you got a registration uh, reminder yesterday, there was a survey monkey item. I hope you clicked on that link. We're trying to collect a little information about um, who's interested in the summit, what kind of uh, groups, what kind of folks are represented here. And the Park Foundation, our biggest of the many sponsors, have, um, very, they're very interested in uh, kind of what, what are the demographics of our audience. So, but for right now, I'm going to ask first, please raise your hand if you live in Tompkins County. Okay, then raise your hand if you don't. Do we have any of our many in commuters here? Okay, we have a very small number, uh, a couple of in commuters. All right, that's good to know. How, if you rent your, if you rent the place that you live, please raise your hand. Okay, if you own. Okay, well then already we know that we're a little bit atypical, at least for the city of Ithaca, which has uh, about two-thirds or three-quarters uh, of the folks actually rent in the city. Um, well, I wanted to just take a moment and talk about, um, oh, all right, let me, a couple of other housekeeping things. Uh, no drink or food in the auditorium. The planning committee members that I introduced before and the volunteers who gave you your programs, you could, um, if you have any questions, you can ask them. Um, when we get to question and answer, we're going to have Christopher and Ed, and then we'll do Q&A at the end for both. We're going to ask so that we can get as many people as possible, try to be succinct. Um, and again, thank you to all the sponsors who are on the back of your program. I want to take a moment and talk about our name, the name of this summit. Over the summer, the planning committee uh, got together and started, wanted to create, we talked about our vision for housing in the county. And the idea of a place for all of us really was, was the guiding vision. It's, it's a vision where young families just starting out and retired folks downsizing can find safe homes that they can afford here. It's a vision in which the hotel worker and hotel manager can, can both find a place that they can live. It means that whether you're a student or a teacher, whether you're a college professor, or you're working on your GED as a, maybe a citizen returning home from incarceration, that you don't have to struggle to make a home in Tompkins County, a place for all of us. And what did we mean by housing by choice or by chance? Well, we wanted to highlight the fact that as one of the few places in upstate New York that's growing in jobs and in, in population, Tompkins County is changing. We are different than we were 10 years ago, and we're going to look different 10 years from now. So the question is, will we choose our future, or will we just let it happen to us by chance? Will those changes help us create the kind of community that we want? Will they further our values of equity, sustainability, and quality of life? I certainly hope so. This summit 
is just the start of a conversation about housing, a very important conversation for all of us. We've got a lot to learn and a lot to do. We can, together we can create a community that does work for all of us. So we're going to get started tonight.